Hi everyone, welcome to new video from Not Real Engineering. In this video, we will solve a basic static beam problem as shown over here in this figure. So the main difference between beam and truss is beam can support loads perpendicular to its direction. Therefore, in beam, we can apply a pressure load like this. This will not be valid when you use truss elements. So geometry is pretty simple. Length of each segment is 50 meters and the cross section of beam is shown over here. So it is I cross section and all the dimensions required for the cross sections are given over here. Material we are assuming steel and we will stick with the SI units. Let's start. Always first set your working directory. Let's start with part 2D wire. and length of each segment is 50 meters. Done. Let's go to property, create material steel. We are assuming only elastic behavior. Young's modulus is 200 gigapascal. Poison's ratio 0 0.3. Create section. Now here, I will name it as beam section. And you have to choose beam over here. And again, type beam. Now in beam section, it will ask you for a profile. So for this, you have to create a profile. I will name it as beam profile. For our problem, the profile shape is I. So I will select I over here. And then it will ask you about all these dimensions. So just carefully see which dimension it is asking. And then you can input those dimensions. So thickness is 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Height is 1. Height is 0 0.8, width is 0 0.4. And this L, our shape is symmetric. So this L will be half of height. So 0 0.4 over here. Height is 0 0.8. And width again 0 0.4, 0 0.4. So now we have B profile for beam and also material for beam section. Then we can create this section. Then assign section the whole structure and one more thing for beam what we have to do is we have to assign beam orientation for example means this section it can be vertical or it can be horizontal as well so we have to assign that and how to do that is by clicking over here assign beam orientation then again select the whole structure say done and then it will ask you to set the direction so by default it will be 0 0 minus 1 you can just keep it as default and say okay now if you render the beam profile you can see over here the beam orientation is assigned like this so this is what we want our beam is vertical okay moving on assembly Create a static general step. You don't have to change anything over here. Now we want to fix this end. Just fix all degrees of freedom. And roller support at this point so u2 equal to 0 next is apply load so first is concentrated force at this point and its value is 1000 kilonewton but we are following si units so we have to enter it in newtons so 1000 
kilo newtons converted into newton and minus sign because it is in downward direction and then apply pressure on top then again it will ask you which direction you want to apply pressure so select magenta for the top and again value is 1000 pascal next meshing first move to part first set element type by default it is beam so we want beam so just keep it as it is then seed the part i will go with global size 5 and then mesh it create a job let's submit it done pretty quick so these are the results so as you can see the beam is bent over here due to pressure and also beam is bent little bit over here because of this concentrated force now many times you want to write a report and you want to know the exact values at each node so for that what we have to do is go to report go to field output and over here change this position into unique nodal then you will get values at all nodes now let's say we want displacement values so go into displacement select u1 u2 and also let's say we want reaction forces so select rf1 rf2 and whatever you want if you want stress you can select this which stress you want and everything and then you can go into setup and you can name the report over here so you can say beam problem and then just say apply and it will create a report in your working directory so if you go to working directory you should able to see a report file over here and in that report file you will get values at each node so these are the node labels and you have different values at each node it will also show you the minimum maximum value and where that minimum and maximum value is occurring if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist all the codes and files which i use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and as always thank you for watching